Hi, this is Dr. Sandhya here. I work at the Shekhar Eye Hospital. I'm a senior glaucoma specialist here, a person who deals with your eye pressure for you. So today I'm here to talk to you all about a complete guide to eye pressure exercises. So generally in a layman term, eye pressure could just mean what you're feeling, the pressure of what you're feeling in the eyes. So let me tell you scientifically what it means and then we'll come to the symptoms of what you're saying. So scientifically, eye pressure denotes intraocular pressure. That's the pressure within the eyes. And that happens because there's a continuous process of production of, uh, of a film inside the eye, which we call as aqueous humor. And there's a continuous drainage as well. That maintains the structural integrity, maintains it like a ball. Now, anything that interferes with the production or the drainage of aqueous humor results in increased eye pressure. And why is it dangerous? Because it results in a condition which we term as glaucoma. And that is the second most common cause of irreversible blindness in the world. That's how serious the problem is. Now, what are the symptoms of glaucoma? What would you feel and come to the doctor? Basically, it's asymptomatic. Yes. You heard it right, it's the silent thief. So you're not going to come to me with any symptom of glaucoma unless you've actually lost vision. But generally the signs to look out for are a loss of peripheral vision. So the vision comes down drastically from outside to inside. You won't be able to see something which is in the periphery. Uh, more common in people who are aged, more common uh, in people who have a family history, more common when you use steroids, again more common when you have certain conditions like the BP or the diabetes or uh, sleep apnea, migraine, etc. But what should you look out for when you even suspect is to run to your ophthalmologist because we are the ones who are going to detect an eye pressure and detect glaucoma in you, advise, test and uh, we, we could help you to treat and manage glaucoma. Now let's talk about the part where you think that there is eye pressure. So normally uh, you associate eye pressure with the feeling of dryness or a feeling of heaviness inside the eye and generally when your anxiety levels are high. So what you mean by eye pressure and the symptoms of these of redness and feeling of the pressure are basically symptoms of most commonly probably you having a computer vision syndrome, probably needing glasses uh, more commonly for distance vision or sometimes even for near vision and dry eyes. So these are different conditions of the eyes. Each of them need to be dealt by your ophthalmologist in a particular manner. What I would still suggest you is whatever are the symptoms you're feeling for the eye pressure, please do consult us. There is no exercise per se that you can perform to reduce the eye pressure. However, keeping yourself well hydrated, blinking very regularly, eating food that is nutritious and good for the eyes. For example, food that's rich in vitamin A, which is uh, carrots, as well as sweet potatoes, rich in vitamin E, uh, which is most commonly found in algae. Almonds, uh, vitamin C as in orange or sweet lemon, all these are good for your health. Getting adequate amount of sleep is very essential for you. Uh, staying away from direct AC helps you a lot. In addition to that, it has been scientifically proven that yoga and meditation do help in actual reduction of eye pressure as well as general anxiety. But generally moving your eyes, rolling them up and down and blinking, these are good, but they will not really reduce your eye pressure. So come forward, get your eyes tested and get your answers for exercises that might help. A few exercises are usually recommended by us for kids and that's more to do with convergence that we call when you have a particular disorder in the eye. So if you like the video and you think that there is information which is needed and required which was here, like the video, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.